Hello, this is Bill Golish from Coda Bears. Today I'll be covering Active Homepage. The Active Homepage is new in Epicor 10.2, and it's a tile based, you know, dashboard like page uh, view for E10. Uh, the tile data is populated by Epicor Data Discovery, which is an extension in E10.2. And that must be activated and deployed to utilize the active homepage functionality. That's set up in the administration console, which I'll show you. Uh, you'll have easy access to the E10 main menu, your favorites, your recents, and uh, the change company, change user, search functionality, help, etc. is all easily accessible from the active homepage, in addition to all the tiles with uh, live data and links to, uh, to other resources that you may find valuable. There are system layouts that are included in the base functionality out of the box that you can just load right up and start with your active home page and then work from there and modify these. Or you can create them from scratch, your own active home page right from the, from the ground up. I recommend starting with the out of the box so you can at least understand and see how the system works a little bit and get a feel for it. There is financial, supply chain, manufacturing. There's also an executive one out of the box. You have to have security um, rights to be able to see the data that is generated by those system BAQs. The system ones are managed in menu maintenance under processes and the custom BAQs, if you write your own to display on active homepage, are set at the BAQ level. This is just a quick view of where those are managed from menu maintenance. Just see the home page down here with here's the uh, four sets of BAQs that are with the base out of the box active home page layouts. If you create your own BAQ, you have to set the security ID there on the general tab in the BAQ designer. And how you get to the active home page is you select a checkbox when you log in. First time it's going to ask if you want to export your existing layout because you can't get back there otherwise. So you, you will want to do this and save that file. The initial active home page is a clean slate. I'll say tiles go here. I'll show you that in just a minute during the demo. From there, you can select a base published layout or import a file if there is layouts already published by other users or security managers in your organization. From that published layout, you can personalize the view and uh, delete, add stuff, change how it displays for how you best you know, can work with, with that page. Then you can subsequently publish the layout that you create for others to use, assuming you have security rights to do so. These layouts, system layouts, are only available to a security manager until they're published. So you have to publish the system layouts as well as anything that you create from scratch or modify. You can always save your current layout when you're loading a published layout so that you can revert back to it. I highly recommend that. Now we're going to do a little demo of the active home page. All right, first let's take a look in the admin console to see the extension and see if it's set up. To, to view that, you go to your server management node, select the environment that you're going to be working with, and look at your application server configuration. From there on the extensions tab, you'll see data discovery. That is the tool that populates uh, your active home page, and it has to be set up properly. It's going to have a, a web page in IIS. If you select that, you can go to the to the actual discovery uh, data discovery web page log in and from here this shows all of the data sources that, that exist all of these BAQs are out of the box uh, for the data discovery and again you can create your own from within the data discovery if you're going to have someone who's going to be publishing and modifying your active home page and your data discovery views they're going to need to have a have their account set up within here and you see this is the account that we're going to use today with bill so it is set up within the data discovery admin console and you also have to license your data discovery when you roll it out with your epic license so since that's all good to go, we're going to log out of the application and take a quick look at how the active home page comes up and what it looks like.
how to work. Okay, we've selected the checkbox for active homepage. If it was my first logon for active homepage, it would prompt me if I want to save my layouts, I would say yes. Right now we're going to see a blank active homepage. This is how it comes out of the box. It says this is the tiles area. Here's what you can do. And you can just start creating stuff right from here with your edit and say add group and you start creating it. But for today's purposes, let's first load up a uh, one of the supplied views. And from there, you're going to go to your settings button up here. Select settings. And then go to home page here. From home page, you can see you have your layout actions. Here is where we're going to see published layouts that we can import. And all you see there are the four system layouts that, that I talked about executive, finance, manufacturing, and supply chain. We're going to select the finance for today's purposes and, and go with the checkbox. Yeah, see, here's where you have the option to export your layout. And we're going to save that as bill. Now it's going to load up the finance layout. This is out-of-the-box finance. It takes a minute for it to run all the BAQs and load the data. And this is the out-of-the-box finance. So you have some real-time data. This was just queried out of the system. When you look at any of these at boxes, uh, tiles that have the arrows here, the little carrots, that means that you can scroll through. This is showing the ship not invoice count so you got 16 shipments not invoiced and it says all here uh, that's going to be all uh, sites if you select there th that's 14 are for MFG sys and two are for RFK same thing here for like your customer a day's overdue just a total of forty seven thousand uh, dollars that's overdue and, and if we select the carrot here it's going to show here's our these are in descending order. So Kansas City Molding has 3,500 out there. Go to the next one. 3,400 for mass heat and air. A Dalton. And on and on. And you can drill into this as well. And that's going to take you to your data discovery view. And where you see a more detailed set of, of what's coming out of that tile. So if you wanted to get more a detail on that. And you see if we scroll across this is going to show who's there which customer you know what the overdue is and if you double click on that customer you can even drill in further on this view here so over here we're going to see right there we get here's our customer with days overdue so you can quickly get to a much info here if we go back to home now and we're saying, okay, let's go and let's, let's, if we wanted to go to the application, it's always the hamburger, upper left portion here. If I just click on that, it takes you right to your regular application menu. I can go wherever I need to from here. Select home again, back to the active home page. We can change between users, languages, workstations from here. And from this selection here, here's all your companies and sites that you can a flip between. If you flip to another site, I'm sorry, another company and that site, it'll reload the data here. And now you see we have the, the information from that particular site and that particular company. Uh, your favorites are here, but with this account there isn't any there, and so are your recents. You can toggle between them or you know, show and not show your favorites A versus your recents. And you can, uh, of course, customize how this whole interface looks. If we want to add and modify this particular this particular active homepage layout, we're going to select Edit, and we have rights to do so. This is a system layout, so we have to make a copy. So we're going to say yes there. Okay, and now we're ready to modify this particular layout. Let's go ahead and let's add a group. So this is going to make a new group here, and we're going to call this Lunch and Learn. So that'll, that'll create a new empty group. Then from there, we can build whatever we need inside of that particular group. Let's put a form link in there first. We'll go to oh, just 
you know, type right in. We're going to go to order entry here from order entry. We're going to use current company and site, and we're going to save that. Now we've got a tile there for a form link. Let's add another tile here, and let's do this for a website, let's say. Let's change the color so it stands out a little bit. I'm going to put the URL in here for Google. We're going to call that Google. And we just did a link. You can embed where you actually see the, the website. Uh, but I don't believe that this server it will allow us to do so right now. Okay, so now we have a form and we have a, a web page built in, into our new group. Let's go ahead and save that. That allows us being saved. And now we should be able to go to the website directly with a double click here. Out to the website, there's Google. But we're still within the Epicor app, so we go a back to home up here, right back to our home page. If they want to bring up the order entry for Epic 03 Chicago site, it is loading up. Here it comes. And there we have it. So Our order entry is open now for this particular site and company. If we change sites and company, we can go right to education, go to main. Again, it'll reload all of our BAQs for our financial information within the tiles. And we still have our order entry. Of course, now this is going to open for the company and the site that we've selected. And we're good to go. Now, if we wanted to create our own BAQ, that's done from within data discovery. And then and once that's done, when we go out here and we go to edit, we can go and we can load a BAQ grid or we can load a discovery chart view that we can create. There is existing ones in here. Here's all the stuff that's out there. So if you have a multi-role job where you want to, you know, you want to see some of the financial stuff, but you also need to see some of your, you know, like your receivables here, or you need to see, you know, what's due today for shipments. You can just go ahead, and bring that out, and we're going to get it. Now, because we have an older database here, that there isn't any shipments due today, but needless to say, you can mix and match and build these tiles within groups, for whatever you need to run from the active homepage. It's a pretty neat tool. Repicor 10 too. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the active homepage in Repicor 10 too.